What's up, everyone? Welcome to another rant time with Klaus. I'm joined with the love of my life. Are you the angry ninety three? What is going on, everybody? And we are joined by my best friend Skype. Haha. <laughs> 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 All weirdness aside, though. Oh my! God. This rant time is going to be about pardon language here use here, but. One dime back cunt by the name of Brittany Venti. Oh yes, that bitch that I um that Klaus introduced me to her, and I wasn't happy for what I watched. And this movie contained face palms after I showed him more of her, her videos. Yeah. And how, how much how retarded she really is. Yeah, this is gonna be full of face palms and me drinking my uh, glass, which I have. Seriously, this this is some good stuff. Too bad it's talking about exclusive. It's okay. All right, let's get this underway. Okay. Okay. About Brittany like Venti, what did she? What was? What was she about? Okay, for those that, for the, okay, for those who, okay, for those who don't know, she was a, a Twitch streamer at some point. Uh, she's a feminazi. She's basically a nut job. Oh yes, she does suck at live streams, mm -hmm. and oh my god, I cannot stand her whiny, annoying voice. Well, not just that, but. We got a lot of issues about Britney, about about Britney. Yeah, not to mention she mispronunciating her words. Oh yes, she um pronounced certain words wrong, and her grammar is horrible. Yeah, like for for example, like um when she said um we. Instead of said League of Legends, she says League of Legends. I was actually gonna say that, but in a, but make it more absurd than it is. Like, hey, after this video, you want to play some League of Leggings? <sighs> Seriously, Brittany, it's Legends. And not to mention, get it right. Oh my, I, oh my goodness, he just kill eating at me. Oh my God. Seriously. But all that being said, we're gonna be watching her um, Pokemon Plus collection, which she doesn't know fuck all about. Exactly. <laughs> and that was one of her recent videos. It's probably um, her two or uh, yesterday or two days ago or something. Two days ago. It's her most recent video. Yes. All that's we already watched. All that's it. said and done. Just, Let I the video roll. Eventy here, and I'm like here. To okay. show you guys my Pokemon collection. Okay. It's Pokemon, not Pokemon. Exactly. And first off, what is up with that unicorn headband on her head? Is she five years old or something? Um, she's, she's an 18 year old woman. Are you a grown adult or are you a woman child? She is a woman child, exactly. <laughs> Oh, and fun fact, I never heard the term woman child before she said it. Mario Fangirl on anything, Amy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the woman child is kind of like, you know, I know what man child is. Um, well, because of just playing with dolls or um, plushies or something and on camera, that's what a woman. Or a man child or a woman child, it's the same. Yeah, they're both basically, basically the same thing. On to the topic on her video. Continuing onward. Okay, so first up, we have the Psychic Kitty. This one's my favorite one because she's purple, and, like, she's psychical, so she can, like, do things with her mind. Okay, I feel that's your favorite. Pokemon? Tell me his name. Come on, Brittany. Tell me his name. Tell me the name of the Pokemon. Because I think you don't know shit about it. If you own Pokemon, why would you not na um, 
Why not knowing the name of the Pokemon in the first place? If if you don't even know it, why are you owning them in the first place? Hey, Sorry. And people, it's take sudden. note. A fake is someone who will feign interest in a, any given subject matter, but doesn't know a damn thing about it. That's what a fake is. Exactly. Like, faking yeah. their interest in something for attention. Yeah, and she is pretty much an attention whore. That's what she really is. Yes, yeah, she's a very definition of attention whore. Continuing in the video. I feel like if you do things with your mind that, like, you kind of, like, have your own power and control in yourself, and you, if you have control, like, in yourself, then you, like, know everything. So, like... <coughs> Stop you there, Brittany. Just because you have control of yourself in your mind, that doesn't mean you can do anything, like... For instance, I can't fly to the moon. Really? She that's stupid. Yeah, apparently she is. It's like, oh my god, I have control of my mind. I can use instant transmission to warp myself to the other side of the planet. <laughs> Let's continue the video. Yeah. That's why, let's, that's why, let's, like, let's this man, she seems to know everything, and she's a kawaii kitty. Um, kitty in Japanese is Neko. So she's a purple Neko. Um, no. That's the sun, uh, no. That's a sun Pokemon. Not a kitty. If you want, if you want cats, look at Meowth and Persian. Look at Skitty and Del Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. That's the definition of the. That's the real cat Pokemon. Espeon is not. Um, Espeon is a sun Pokemon. Do your fucking research. Exactly. You know how you get Espeon? Evolve. Uh, damn it, I forgot to put myself in doing a disturb mode. So, don't worry. There we go. Evolve Eevee through happiness during the day. At least, I, no, it's not through happiness through levels, I think. Anyway, continuing on the video. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so next up we have... We have the leaf one. The leaf one is, like, grass. Why the hell is she so playing like, the with the plushies? Again, she's not five years you. old. Um, Stop playing with it on camera, you woman child. Exactly, and I... Oh my goodness, it's the leaf one. It's one of my favorites. I'm not going to tell you the name of that Pokemon, but I really love it. Oh wait, I don't know what I'm talking about. And those who raise a Chikorita know it's, know it's actually one of them... Hardest of the three Johto stars to work with. Yeah, Chikorita is, um, I actually have one of those, um, figures here. Even I got hundreds of them in my collection. Exactly. Like, for those seeking a challenge in playing the second gen and second gen remakes, Chikorita is the one for you. It's weak to some of the more common types found in that game. Chikorita's cool, but I also like Cyndaquil or Totodile. Yeah, for for most part, I would usually choose Totodile because at level eight it learns rage. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> All right, continuing the video. To hurt you, um, but I think that's false because like you see right here, like those are leaves and they're not hurting me, and you know, so logically, I would think that logically, you know, that's just part of the fictionality of the Pokemans. I use it to be my okay, favorite Okay, Brittany, go back to grade school and learn how to fucking talk. Yeah, I mean... That's the issue I have with her. She doesn't enunciate her words. I understand she's autistic, but please... I do your fucking speech class and speak correctly. Actually, about that, I think you may be faking that for attention as well. Ugh. Oh. Continuing on. This one now is Eevee. 
Um, next up we have... We have Choker Dragon. Um, I call her that because she has a choker on her. Like, right there. They gave her a choker. And, like, I think that's the coolest thing ever. And she also has a bracelet over here. She's very fashionable. And I like this Pokemon because not only is she fashionable, but she has wings and, you know, like, really pretty eyes. So this one has always been one of my favorites. And I feel like it's very underrated as a Pokemon. Oh, and this one is a... I believe it or not, I think this one is a water type because, like, it's blue and it's like a snake. It's like an underwater snake, even though snakes don't go underwater. Isn't that freaking crazy? <clears throat> okay, you claim that's your favorite, but then you go on to say it's a water type. Seriously, Brittany? And FYI, it's not a choker dragon. It's... It's Dragonair. Dragonair. That's, um, it involved from J- Warning. Technical difficulties. I repeat. Technical difficulties. The Lakitu got drunk. I'm just gonna say, if I can give her one thing, I actually kind of agree with her in, say in her saying it's underrated. That's, yeah, that's true. So, she gets some, she gets some points from, from me for, on that. Continuing. And then, next up, we have, we have Decoy. Um, this one is Decoy, it's a Pokemon, I think it's normal type. And okay, stop you there, Brittany. That's not a Pokemon. That is a move called Substitute. Yeah, that's the move of Substitute from whatever Pokemon from the uh, move that they used. I mean, it's a Substitute. It's not mm -hmm. really a Pokemon. Exactly. And and on topic of the Substitute doll, I've read it somewhere on like. GameRunners.com, it's, it's supposed to resemble Missing No. How it's supposed to resemble Missing No, I have no idea. But seriously though, I don't know how it's supposed to resemble Missing No. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure people, like, that, may, that might be watching this knows the, um, missing now. That's a, so that's a topic for another video, though. Exactly. Okay. All right. Now, um, my God, this, this videos of hers are horrible. It is, but let's, let's finish I know it. it has Oh, I, I know, know from, from my memory, memory it, has it has this one move called Substitute, substitute. Um, so, so Decoy has, has a move Substitute, and the tag on it says Pokemon Center, Center. So, so I'm, I'm guessing, guessing that this one's official, and that, that makes, makes it so much, much cooler than the others, because the others, others, the others like, weren't like, as official, like. official, like. At least she acknowledges the name of the move. Like, oh my god, Decoy, no substitute! When it is substitute, like I was just saying. Well, this one is from the Pokemon Center as well. So, like, this one's cool just like the, just like this one. I've been playing Pokemon my whole life, so I, like, know a lot about them. Like, I literally played all the way from... Let me think. Yet, I won't tell you a single name of any of the Pokemon I've just shown you. Like, seriously, if you were playing Pokemon your entire life, why would you not name them? I mean, like I said, um... If you don't know the name of the rest of the Pokemon, why are you owning them 
these plushies in the first place. I mean, um, surprisingly, she, um, when she knows Pikachu or Eevee, surprisingly, she knows a couple of them. But still, you have to name mm -hmm. all the Pokemon if you're if you're really a Pokemon fan. Exactly, owning merchandise of that franchise is supposed to show that you're a fan of that exactly. franchise. I'm gonna be reacting to this video in about about tomorrow about it, and I would do it myself. Now, let's, hmm. do you want do you want to go so, on to another top? Uh, another fact about Brittany Venti. Actually, um, yeah, I think I mentioned before that she uh, she's a feminazi and that she got banned from. Twitch. That's another thing with her. Now the issue, what's going on with Brittany is um, showing too much cleavage during live streams. I mean, did really people wanted to see that cleavage on the way she um the way she's wearing um, I mean that's. It's really, it's what I call it an attention whore. And plus, reason why she got banned from Twitch, that's, that is the real reason why she got it. Because too much cleavage. Not because of her troll donators, but because she violated Twitch terms of service. Exactly. She's streaming with too much cleavage. But onto that with the recent video, she... Um, finally wearing something that covers her cleavage. She wears more uh, something appropriate, but she, but she's still a bitch. And do not and does yeah. not want to don't does not want to take constructive criticism. And and she's one of those feminazi sorts who will blame any and every little inkling that she can on and men. Even problems that weren't caused by men somehow link them to masculinity. Yeah, because that works so well for feminazis thus far. Right. Now, um, what else? Oh, there's some other videos that I saw from her. Um, I, it's just like, um, this is like a couple of months ago where it was on live on 4chan. This is where she. Remember, she got injured on um, on the live stream and hurt her elbow. Yeah, but we're gonna sit. We're, we're gonna see that for another time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, about Bernie. Oh, oh my God. Just, you mind if I just? Talking about this, or even on her other stuff, where she's having a fit. By all means. Oh, there is one. Yeah, there's one of her videos where she um having a fit where she, her clothes didn't fit and Ginger was filming. Oh my God, she throws a fit like a four-year-old. Yeah. Oh, uh, looking at the timer, we're. we're on 18 minutes, running on 19 minutes, so we're gonna um, wrap this up and talk about that in part two. So, this has been Klaus and, Mario and, and, and look forward to part two of a rant on Brittany Venti where we talk about her bitching and whining over her clothes not fitting. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. <sighs> Get your face palmers ready, and, I'll, and we will see you next time. Peace. See you later, guys.